You're gonna be helping Jethro. Don't let his demeanor fool you. He's not a... Um, he's not a nice man, but he's got a good heart. He won't steal you wrong. Uh, go on now, he's out there tying brush. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Hey, city boy. What are you doing out here? Oh, you're the new help, are you? The why ain't you helping? Well, come on. This brush ain't gonna tie itself. Got to tie this off, bring it back to the burn barrel. A day or two it might be good enough for a regular old bonfire, but for now we just gonna burn it in the barrel. <sighs> what? Well, I suppose that's good to know, but I don't think I asked you what your name was. I suppose the polite things to do is to introduce myself back. I'm Jethro. <sighs> if you've got questions, I guess that since I'm the only other one out here, you can ask me. But believe me, city boy, if you can't figure it out for yourself, well, I might not be able to help you. Here's your length of cord. What do you cut it with? Your knife. Did you not get a knife? That crazy old man. All right, here. You can borrow mine for now. <clears throat> Wrap it around the base. Don't need to waste rope when you don't have to when it's thinnest at the base. Wrap it around the base one time. Give yourself an extra two, three inches for tying. All right. What kind of knot? How many kinds of knot can you tie? Well, either one will work. We ain't gonna untie We're just gonna burn it as is. Then when we're done with this, we got a fence to fix. Once we mended that, got to put the cows away for the night, brush down the horses, and uh, probably by then it'll be about supper time. <clears throat> what now? Uh, you prick yourself? Yeah, that'll happen. Look at my hand. See them thick calluses? I didn't get that by wearing gloves. Yeah, I know. Lost a lot of dexterity, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, whatever. You'll get used to it. And in the meantime, you see long thorns pinch. Pinch in between the thorns. Use your thumb and your forefinger to set it upright. And then try and put it between two larger branches, something that doesn't have thorns. Keep your hands safe. See, there you go. Now leave me be, I gotta do mine. <sighs> there we are. You 
moving too slow. Come on, pick it up. All right. You know what? Just leave these here. We'll haul them back on our way back in, but the fence is further out. Come on, we can walk and talk. I ain't normally much of a talker, but I must admit I am curious. What are you doing here? I mean, a ranch ain't exactly... I don't know what I would call... a paradise for someone like you. Oh, don't give me that bull. Look at your hands. Yeah, that's what I thought. So what brings you out here? <sighs> you looking for peace, huh? Running from something? Life can be pretty hectic out there. Well, one way or another, you'll find your peace here. That I can guarantee you. Come on. What did you say? You ask me why I'm out here? I guess I did say I'd answer any of your stupid questions. I'm out here for my health. I needed something that'd pay the bills, okay? And this is what I'm good at. I shouldn't have snapped at you. It's just... I had a stressful day. Well... You got a belt for the hammer? No? Of course you don't. I'll tell you what. You go back, you get a hammer and a belt, all right? I don't want you dropping anything or losing your hammer. Tell them that I need two-inch nails, all right? Looks of things I need probably... Thirty-two of them, all right? And then you come back here, bring me the hammer, the belt, and the nails. And we'll get this sorted out. And in the meantime, I'll take care of the chickens. Yeah, I gotta inspect their compound. Make sure that there's no loose boards or anything. Foxes and coyotes will get in there. You got any kind of opening at all, they'll get in. Okay, I get that you understand why you're still standing here. Go. Get on there. 